What do you want from me? To be friends. We don't need to be friends. We're family. Hi, everybody. I'm Peter Travers, and welcome to Popcorn, where we tell you what's happening at the movies. And you have just seen a scene from what I think is a terrific movie called Stoker, starring Mia Wasikowska, who happens to be with us today. <laughs> so, Mia, welcome. Thank welcome. you. Thanks for having me. <laughs> so, we talked a little bit before, because mm -hmm. this isn't just another movie. Mm -hmm. this, is, this Stoker is the English language debut of the great Korean director, mm. who I'm going to say <laughs> in my best Korean Bak Chan Uk, and you're going to call him what? I'm going to call him Director Park. Director Park. <laughs> and that's what you did through this whole thing. I did, yeah. It was, you know, in, in Korea they address people's title and then their name. So, uh, yeah, that's what we did on, on our film as well. Well, I don't, I'm just not going along with you. I'm yeah. going, I learned the Korean pronunciation, really you know, and that's it. So. I'll tell him tonight. He'll Should be very he, impressed. Yeah, if you ever see it, that's going to happen. Yeah. So tell us a little. This is a mystery. It's, then it's beyond mystery. Yeah. Who are you playing? Who was um, this India Stoker that you're playing? Well, I play India, who's like an 18-year-old. And I guess the film is her coming of age and her sexual awakening and, um, in a very kind of twisted family dynamic. I guess the film kind of becomes a, a love triangle between her mum and her uncle and her. Um, Easy for you to say. Very, yeah. yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> very unconventional. I guess it becomes that, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nicole Kidman is playing your mother, Matthew mm -hmm. Good is playing your Uncle Charlie, mm -hmm. who we have only hear about in the movie. Yeah. It's like Uncle Charlie's living the high life yeah, somewhere, yeah. traveling yeah. all over, nobody knows him. Mm -hmm. and. Everybody has returned. He's returned mm. for your dad's funeral. Mm. I think I'm not yeah. giving too much away yes. to do no, that. So far, know. so good. <laughs> but Director Park, mm. as we're calling him, mm. is known for movies that I've seen, especially Old Boy, mm. A Thirst. Yeah. These movies are really violent. Yeah. Would you categorize Stoker as really violent? Um, it's maybe like a little bit less violent than some of his previous mm. films. But I do think it's, um, it'll be like a little bit uncomfortable for, for some people um, because I think he definitely likes to challenge the audience and uh, it's not like a comfortable film to watch. So yeah, I think it, it, is, it is kind of violent and a different territory, I guess. Well, your character is living a kind of sheltered life, isn't mm, she? Yes. Yeah, she's she's very introverted and, and very much a loner in a very classic way. Um, and I think that when her uncle turns up, it's the first time she's really experienced knowing somebody and somebody knowing her. And um, yeah, it's her first kind of infatuation. What we're seeing in Uncle Charlie is somebody who isn't what he seems. There's yeah. something more, and there's a definitely there's there's his charm, and there's yeah, also and a some mystery menace or something in doing that. Yeah. When you get presented with a script like this, what mm -hmm. makes you say, I want to do this? Um, it was definitely one of the easiest decisions in my career, um, mainly because it's a character that was really different to anything I'd played before, so that was really exciting for me. And of course, that director Park was so renowned and, and is such an original talent. I was, yeah, it was the sort of thing I read in like one sitting and instantly called back, being like, yes, I would love to do this, so. Um, Nothing freaked you out about it? You didn't no, go like, I mean, whoa, <laughs> wait a minute. No, I mean, it's defi there's definitely intimidating scenes and aspects of the character, but I, I always kind of liked that, so. So it was pretty. It was pretty easy decision. To come well, to. your scenes with Nicole Kidman as your mm. mom. Mm. There's. I was going to say love hate, but there's yeah. almost more hate hate that's going yeah. on. Yeah. Yeah. So what was that like? You two doing this? Nicole being from Australia. You being. Yeah. You have a Polish mom. And yeah. Australian your dad, dad. Yeah. Australian dad. Yeah. Yeah. It was cool. I mean, luckily our relationship in real life was the polar opposite to what mm -hmm. it was on the film. She was so kind and really took me under her wing and, and was really open about her experiences working in films and growing up, you know, in this kind of industry. So it was pretty great. Um, and she's definitely been a huge role model for me coming from Australia and was really one of the first to kind of 
transcend or, you know, start working in America. Mm -hmm. What got you? What was the first thing you did as an actor um, in Australia? In Australia, the first thing I ever did was like a guest appearance on a TV drama. Um, and I had like a two episode guest show. And um, in a way, I think that that was probably like one of the most exciting things for me because I, it just like seemed so impossible. And then I'd gotten like this job, which I'd auditioned for and never expected to get it. And, and yeah, so that was, that was the first thing I'd ever done, like ever. <laughs> the first thing I ever saw you in and mm -hmm. it knocked me out. Yeah. was in treatment oh, on cool. HBO. Thank you. Where you're Sophie, and I look at you, mm. I don't see any Sophie, really. Oh, cool. <laughs> but it was, well, she was a handful. Yeah, yeah, it was so much fun. I mean, that was one of my most, like, that's my most beloved character, I think. She was Is she just, really to this time? Yeah, I think so. I mean, it was unique because it was a character that was explored for, like, half hour episodes over nine weeks, so it was almost added up to, like, three hours of playing the one character in a really intense way that you don't really get to do in film. So that was such a unique first experience because even to do a film where you're the lead, it doesn't add up to like three hours mm -hmm. of, <laughs> of exploration. So that was pretty amazing. Here, the big thing that everybody knew was Alice in Wonderland yeah. for Tim Burton. Yeah. So what was that like? How'd that change your life? Um, yeah, I mean, that was such a different experience to, to in treatment because uh, it was probably like a huge amount of exposure, um, more than I'd experienced in any other film or, you know, or within treatment. Um, and that was really, uh, that was a really interesting thing to do because it was, uh, in treatment was sort of such a tone of like reality and, and then with the long takes and all the time there was. Mm -hmm. and, and then in Alice seemed such an unreal world, like it was so bizarre. Um, in a way that was quite good, I guess, because the character is also in some kind of strange wonderland. And so it was, you know, it was three months of green screen and it was uh, really surreal. Well, you told me you're not singing those to yourself, so no. <laughs> I'm not going to put you on that otherwise. You throw that popcorn on my head. Anyway. I would. <laughs>